Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of Daf Yomi. Today we are concentrating on Samach Vav, that is page 66 of Masechet Gitin. Very interesting, wine or money? That is the title of today's Daf. And it's interesting, uh, feature that is featured on Daf in, in Amud Aleph of uh, page 66. There's a quote, Give Rabbi Avina 400 zoos from the wine I have by the Panya River. So friends, what's it referring to? These were the instructions given by Gan, uh, Gan Eva as he was being actually led to his execution over here. Regarding to this, although the instructions regarding a gift coming from a man about to die constitute a valid transfer of property without the need for a kinyan, an acquisition, a doubt to Rabbi Avina's claim was raised by Rabbi, Rabbi Abba over here. So we're talking about Kinyan in here and the phrases over here and everything else in regards to uh, what he meant over here. So what did he mean? Get the Ganavia or Ganeva did not say to give him wine. He argued, he, he argued, he did an argument, nor did he say to give him the monetary value of the wine. He didn't actually specifically say this. All he specifically had said at this time was to give him 400 zoos, which was currency at the time, from his wine. And since when can money be made from wine? So it's not uh, naturally uh, that. So Rabbi Abba's challenge was answered by his colleague. The reason why Geneva did not specif specify either wine or money, but he mentioned over here both of them together in a pluralistic manner, in a, in a specific pluralistic manner over here, was uh, in one phrase, was in order to give Rabbi Avin a strong, let's just say, a holding a position in making his claim to the heirs of uh, Geneva. So what, what's this about? Had he specified over here wine and some of Geneva's wine had turned, let's say, for example, some of the wine would have turned sour or bitter or whatever, the heirs would have claimed that it was the wine given to him that had spoiled, that had become me kukal at that stage in time. Had he specified money and some of the wine was sold and the money acquired, let's just say, was lost, was nebad, they would then claim that it was Rabbi Avina's loss over here. So only by combining, he has to combine the phrase over here of wine and money, uh, yain and kesef in one phrase, did he grant Rabbi Avina the privilege of claiming either wine or money according to the circumstances uh, in that sort of fashion. So he had to choose his words carefully over here. And that's very interesting. It's an uh, insight from Rabbi Mendel Weinbach, Zechet Tzadik Libracha, who was Rosh Hashiva of Yeshivat or Semech. So guys, I would look into the Duff more, look into what was going on. And a lot more is featured inside the Duff and everything else. And toil on it and uh, learn it properly and look at the Mepharshim also. Guys, have a great day. And Chodesh Shabbos, we've just come out of uh, Rosh Chodesh Av.